Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs. I wanted to come out and try all the new food offerings for the month of May. Of course, we have Gideon's to look forward to in their cake and cookies, but also I saw sweet tea fried chicken, which sounds mind blowing. So we're gonna try some chicken. And then also I see that they have a new Star Wars VR experience in the old NBA experience. And I thought I'd take a quick look. Anywho's, let's go do this. I feel like I'm a little late for my monthly trip out to Disney Springs. I usually come out like the first day of the month, but I was away in Disneyland and there's a lot of new things for the month of May. A world of voices as they celebrate Pacific Islander Heritage Month, which is cool because they're going to have some special snacks all around the spring so we can check those out as well. First things first, let's head to Gideon's and see if there's a long line or if they're doing a virtual queue. Sometimes it could be like a 20 minute wait or it could be a two to four hour wait. So we always do that first. And then I'm also so excited to try the sweet tea fried chicken. I just keep thinking about that. Like, what is it? Sweet tea and fried chicken combined? Like, I'm intrigued. Oh wow, looks like I came at the perfect time. There's no virtual queue, it's just standby. And uh, this is the line right here. So it's probably only gonna be like a 10, 15 minute wait. So we might as well just go for it now. When the line is short at Gideon's, you gotta go for it immediately because now it's basically triple the size. Like when we walked up, it was the perfect time and everyone else knows that the line was short. So they all hopped in line too. And now it's literally like triple back. Here is the menu for the month of May, and I love the artwork on it. It's gonna be a nice little addition to uh, my collection. And on the back, you can see the monthly cookie is a peanut butter chocolate swirl. They also have a peanut butter and jelly cake, but I don't know if that's available. I think that might be only for the weekends. If it is available, I'm gonna get them both. And also, I mean, a peanut butter chocolate swirl sounds like it would go good with the peanut butter cold brew. Cause like, you know what I mean? That's like a, that's a, that's a staple here is the peanut butter cold brew. So might do a little cookie, a little coffee. If there's a cake, we might do a little cookie coffee cake combo. Looks like we lucked out cause it's actually hot cookie hour. So they have hot cookie hour from 2 PM to 3 PM and then from 7 PM to 8 PM. And right now it's like 2.30. So kind of right on time. As I was standing in line, it looks like somebody sent me over a hot cookie because, it, like I said, it was hot cookie hour. And look at this. It comes with a little vanilla ice cream, the classic chocolate chip in there, and the cookie just falls apart because it's hot. Look at that. Oh, wow. I didn't even order all the goodies that I'm going to get like for the video, but I can't resist taking a bite of this while we're sitting in here. Oh, look at that. Here is the peanut butter and jelly cake. That looks so good, and it actually looks like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get some of that. Okay, we have a lot to dive into. They uh, had the peanut butter and jelly cake slice, which is amazing. So I got the cake slice, I got the cookie, I got the coffee, and then like I said, they gave me, uh, somebody gave me a hot hour cookie. But right now I wanna show you guys the hot cookie hour cookie. And it's like a chocolate chip cookie and it's hot and it comes with a little ice cream. Like I said, you can only get it between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, and then, well, seven to eight as well. But look at that. Oh, wow. So good. This one I can't actually save till later. So we're gonna have to eat this first because the ice cream's gonna melt and everything like that. But I believe this is my first hot cookie from here. I, I'm like, I'm pretty positive. So here we go. Oh wow, that's amazing, I love it. Mm. The hot cookie is amazing, but now let's get down to the peanut butter business. Like look at this peanut butter jelly cake, I cannot get over it. It looks so amazing. So it's like peanut butter frosting and then jelly in between and it just looks, this honestly, might end up being my favorite cake slice because I love peanut butter and jelly, but that looks so good. And then the peanut butter swirl, holy moly, right? This is like a peanut butter lover's dream. And then uh, of course, the peanut butter cold brew to top it all off. And we're just gonna dive right on in. Seriously though, if you are a peanut butter lover, this is a dream come true right here. Like what a trio, what a combination. We're gonna start off with the cake slice first. And we're gonna make sure to get a little bit of everything, a little peanut butter and jelly and cake all in one bite. That's it right there, the perfect bite. 
I am way more excited to try the cake slice than the cookie this time. Like, that cake, it, it looks so good. So that's why I'm going with it first. And here we go. That's phenomenal. That is a peanut butter and jelly cake. Think about it. <laughs> a peanut butter jelly cake slice. I'm going back in. Look at that jelly right there. What really does it for me though, this peanut butter icing. Like, it's not heavy peanut butter, and it's like just the perfect combination. Like, this is so good. If they sold this peanut butter icing, I would put this on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it, it kind of just tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but I don't know how to explain it. I guess a little bit sweeter, a little bit sweeter, and a little bit like lighter at the same like sense. You know what I mean? Because the the paint like the, the the bread isn't bread, it's like cake. So I love it. Alright, enough of the cake business. Even though it is so phenomenal. We're gonna actually go to the uh, peanut butter swirl and this one is gonna be a little bit messy because the chocolate chips already started melting, but we're gonna break it in half anyway. Here we go. Look at that. Oh boy. I'm just gonna grab a piece right here. Oh, that's good too. Wow. They really got a home run here. You know, shockingly, the peanut butter uh, swirl isn't like overpowering on the peanut butter either. It's actually more chocolatey, I feel like, than peanut butter, but it is still good. If I would have had to choose between either one of them, I would probably go with the peanut butter and jelly cake slice. Like, that is just so good to me. I mean, I just keep looking back on it. I just keep on coming back. You keep me coming back for more. Now we're gonna wash it all down with a peanut butter cold brew. That is the life right there. Well, now that the cookie business is taken care of, we have to move along. And I've got lots of leftovers, so we're gonna be putting them in the freezer when we get home, and then we get to snack on them throughout the week. And I love that. Since we're over here in this general direction, I want to run into Chapel Hats because I'm having a little bit of a hat dilemma and I want to see if maybe there's a solution in there. If you guys don't know, Chapel Hats is a fancy hat store here at Disney Springs and you guys know I love wearing fedoras. But as we get a little bit later in the summer season, it gets super hot out. And depending on the type of hat that I'm wearing, it really, really can get hot. So I'm gonna try to find maybe a new style of hat so that I can try to keep cool. The different materials they use to actually make some of the hats, uh, it gets a little tricky because the ones that are made of 100% paper like this is really, really comfortable and airy and you can actually like breathe through them like your head can breathe, but it's made of paper so it actually starts to like deteriorate and when you sweat, you end up like sweating through it. So I'm trying to avoid that, but at the same time stay cool. And then when you find other hats, like for instance, this one, this one is made of cotton and it is super hot like <laughs> it's like a microwave on your head underneath there because it's sturdy you know what i mean and it's not gonna you know fold under pressure but you're roasting so that's my dilemma like i'm i'm having a dilemma there and just like that bada boom i got a new hat a nice little blue 100 percent cotton fedora i like it i think it looks really nice and we're gonna give it a test run and see how it holds up. But what do you guys think? Like, I, I plan on maybe trying to switch up my hat game. I, I feel so out of place though, because for the past three years, I've been always wearing fedoras in almost every single video. So it's kind of like my thing and I love it, but it gets too hot out. So let me know in the comments what you guys think I should try, like hat wise. Maybe I'll like, you know, try baseball caps for a while or different style hats, just so I can stay cool, especially during the summer. But what would you guys think of that? Like, how do you think I'd look like walking around with a baseball cap on? And I do wear baseball caps usually like when I'm like going to the grocery store and stuff. But uh, yeah, maybe a little change up. Maybe soon, we'll see. Let's move along and make our way over to the Polite Pig so we can get the sweet tea fried chicken. But as I walked by the Happy Hound here, I remembered I have to re-up on Gracie's pup cakes. So maybe we'll uh, stop in the sprinkle so we can get her treats and bring her home to her a little bit later on. I'm telling you, Gracie is a smart dog. She knows 
when I come back from Disney Springs, like she knows when I have a Gideon's bag and stuff like that, that I got pupcakes in there because I always get her pupcakes whenever I go to Gideon's the first of the month. So we definitely don't want to disappoint her. So I'm going to grab some real quick and then we'll take them home and let her try them. And I love it. I love showing her off too. And here it is, sprinkles. And instead of going in, I thought it'd be fun to use the cupcake ATM. The cupcake ATM. So you can actually just order your cupcakes and it's like an ATM. Instead of giving you cash back, they actually just give you cupcakes. And they have all of them right here. They have the banana, the black and white. Oh, do you wish to continue shopping? Yes. Oh, and right here's the pupcake. See, we're gonna select the pupcake, bada bing. Two dog-friendly, sugar-free cupcakes topped with a yogurt frosting. I'll take one, please. Or actually, I should take two, because it's a two-pack. And then check out. And are you a Sprinkles Points member? No, but I should be. And bada bing, bada boom. I don't know how they do this magic, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. And these are different boxes too, but I have to make sure the pupcakes are in there. Oh yeah, there they are. Gracie's little pupcakes. <laughs> now I'm carrying around pupcakes, cookies, cakes, and hats. I got uh, lots of bags. Now it's time though for the sweet tea fried chicken. Oh, I am so excited. I love Polite Pig. So whenever they come out with new food items, I definitely always want to check them out. And this one just sounds so cool. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of assuming that they're going to like brine the chicken in sweet tea maybe. Or I don't know. Or maybe the sweet tea is like somehow in the breading. But I'm interested either way. There it is. Sweet tea fried chicken. $19. And it's served with succotash, cheddar biscuit, smoked jalapeno hot honey. And I... Am pumped. Might as well get some sweet tea with my sweet tea fried chicken. Let's put that right there. Oh yeah, it reminds me of summer. The sweet tea fried chicken actually comes with succotash and coleslaw, but you can sub out your side, so I wanted to get the Brussels sprouts because I can't leave here without the Brussels sprouts. And I just found out about something really cool that they're doing at the bar outside, and I can't wait to show you guys. So from Monday through Thursday, from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., they're doing a polite hour where you get special deals and menus like, uh, well, the menu is exclusive to just the outside bar here. So uh, $2 off ravenous pig beer, $2 off cocktails, polite bar bites, they're only $9. And on there are sweet tea wings. And this is so cool because I can't wait to try those. I mean, I might as well get both and give it a little sample. And they also have pork belly lettuce wraps and pulled pork loaded fries. This is a really cool thing, the polite hour. All right, well here it is, the sweet tea fried chicken. And I was right, they brine it in sweet tea. And look at this, you got corn succotash here, Brussels sprouts, the hot honey sauce, and just look at this. It looks so good. It has a little darker look to it because of the sweet tea brine, but I am so excited to dive in. The sweet tea fried chicken looks amazing, and so do the wings. Holy moly, this is probably going to be... I, can, I literally... I, I can't wait to try it, so I need to, I need to dive in. The wings just came out now, and look at these. Oh my lord. Now, there is sweet tea glaze on these ones. Like, and it's brined in sweet tea. And these are only available at the bar. And, oh man, this is much too good. Like, this is way, way too good. All right, we got a lot to dive into here. But I think we're going to start with the fried chicken. Look at this. I cannot wait to bite into this and, like, hear the crunch. So here we go. First bite. That is too good. Look at that chicken and then it comes with a little cheddar biscuit there and oh my lord It's so crunchy like amazing like listen hold on Like do you hear that? I've never had anything like sweet tea brined before 
but you can really taste the tea in it and it's got crunch and it's just good chicken because like Polite Pig is just known for their modern barbecue and this honestly is such a unique experience and I can't wait to dive into the wings either because those look phenomenal everything looks so good <laughs> all right now it's time for the wings look at these wings though and the sweet tea glaze is on there. You can tell they're a little sticky, but oh, I cannot wait. Oh, all right, we're going for it, Eric. You gotta be kidding me. I have had like sticky wings before, but nothing ever like this. This is like a whole new dining experience for me, and I love it. Like, <laughs> I haven't even touched the succotash yet. I have one piece of chicken here, the biscuit, the Brussels sprouts, there's everything, even the hot honey sauce. So much amazing things right now. It's really tough to say which one I like more. Do you know what I mean? Like, as I love them both equally, the wings you can only get uh, the Monday through Thursday, I think, for like the, the uh, piggy hour. The, uh, the fried chicken is available seasonally until probably next month, but and if you go either way, you're gonna be happy, I feel like. Let's dive into this succotash a little bit. Look at that. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, I love me some good succotash. All right, we need to come back to this other piece of fried chicken. Oh, and the biscuit. Let's break this biscuit open. Oh. A little cheddar biscuit. Don't mind if I do. The only thing left that we haven't tried yet is the honey sauce. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, the sauce looks so good. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot, but good. I like it. Oh boy, definitely got some kick there. Gonna go in again, we're going again. <laughs> we're doing it again. Oh, I lost it in there. Now I'm fishing, look at that. That's gonna be a lot of sauce. There's gonna be a, little, a lot of height on this one. I can tell you guys this. I don't think I've ever had an unsatisfying meal here at Polite Pig, but this, this was one of my best ones. This is up there with the butcher board. And it makes me sad because it's only seasonal and maybe it might make a return someday, but I, I feel like they should add this to the menu 24-7. 24-7, 365 I mean, because that would be amazing. Oh, can you imagine if you can get some of the sweet tea fried chicken on the butcher board? Ah, now we're thinking. Okay, now I'm feeling full, but Holy moly, I mean, I didn't eat all of it, but I'm not taking it home either because I already have so much, but that was so good. I can't get over it. Like, sweet tea fried chicken, sweet tea wings, sign me up. I decided to peek over at Amaretz since it's right next to Polite Pig. Even though I'm too full between fried chicken and cookies, uh, they do have a really awesome dessert for a world of voices. And this looks good. It's like a chiffon layered cake with caramel, banana mousse, and banana liqueur. And doesn't that look so fancy? $8, but I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it myself, but at least I wanted to show you though. All right, now let's make our way down to the old NBA experience and check out the Star Wars VR. I'm not even sure if it's open right now. I don't know if there was certain hours, but uh, I don't know much about it and I kind of want to explore a little bit and show you guys. Believe it or not, I haven't been out to try Salt and Straw yet. When it opened, I was in uh, Disneyland. So that's going to be a separate video because I can't do any more sweets today, but I definitely do want to come check it out. And here we are. The Metaverse, or MetaQuest. The Metaverse, MetaQuest. I honestly don't know anything about this, but it's now through July 21st from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. And it's Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. And we're gonna see if we can do it. I think there's maybe a walk-up line. Oh yeah, walk-up line right here. Register for experience. Now this is actually really cool because it's a free, it's free. Like it's, you just come in, you have to follow a couple of steps and it's free, no cost to you. So like, that's awesome. 
So it looks like they do have a walk-up line and then they also have a way you can register, kind of like a dining reservation, and you just scan that QR code. I scanned it and I found one that was like 30 minutes from now and they said the walk-up line is about a 45 minute wait, so I just went with that. And then you have to sign a waiver and wait for your time to go in. But I'm excited, this is, used to be the NBA experience and you know, I, I'm. I'm, I'm happy they're doing something with it, you know what I mean? Because we all miss Disney Quest a lot, and NBA experience kind of didn't go over so well. But, I mean, this is, a, this is a good thing. And it's not permanent either, so I just want to see them utilize the building. Because, like, if they got rid of Disney Quest and didn't put anything in there and just left it vacant, that'd make me a little sad, you know? Here it is. We are on the inside now. And wow. It looks completely different in here. Kind of, it's kind of blowing my mind. Like, <laughs> once you get inside, they actually have a little section uh, to the side here where if you do a survey, you end up getting $25, uh, like a gift card for uh, the MetaQuest uh, store. So you can actually purchase things and save some money. So that always comes in handy. And what do you guys think? Like, what do you think about the inside of here? Like, it's kind of crazy. Now we're actually heading on into our little pod area and they have all separate ones here. This used to be the dunk area, I think. I never did. Yeah, the NBA experience. So this is really cool. And you go in and this is it, right? Yeah, we're going to take you down to four, actually. Oh, all right. Cool. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I like this. This is fancy. So, um, have you done VR before? No, never. This is your first time? Yeah, first timer. Very exciting. Um, so we're going to be using the MetaQuest 2 in this adventure. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you everything and I'm going to tell you, are you familiar with Star Wars? Yes. All right. Yes. So uh, the scenario in this situation, you're in Star Wars Tales of the Galaxy's Edge. And basically you are a droid repair technician. You've crash landed on the planet Batu, which I'm sure you've heard of. Oh yes. And <laughs> you've lost your cargo. So your goal is to either find it or you can hang out in the cantina, which you see in this mural here. Uh, you'll meet Cecil Slack, which is the bartender. Mubo's your boss and you're going to kind of go on an adventure. You can play darts in the cantina. You can eat some... Um, Ronto wraps. This sounds like something I would do regularly anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah, so, and I'll let you know when it's time to go out and uh, explore and grab your, your belongings if you'd like. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Oh, that's cool. We were both like furloughs. We're like, that's so fun. And what's cool is while you're uh, doing this, I'm going to switch the screen here. So I know exactly what you're doing. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, um, glasses first and then pull it back. Why are you doing that? Oh, okay. So, like this? Yeah. And then, like, yeah, perfect. Most people. Yeah. I get confused when I try to tell them this, so. Yeah. Like a tight, or can you see clear? I can see clear. That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> Perfect. Great minds think alike. Okay, fantastic. So, um, do me a favor now, if you can put your hands out in a fist in front of you. So make a fist. Okay, cool. Perfect. Oh, okay. Oh wow, look, I got little hands. Did you see that? So funny. <laughs> so now you should be seeing a star up on the screen. Yeah. So it's going to hit play with your uh, your trigger finger, your uh, pointer finger. Gotcha. And start, we're going to select teleport, it's already pre selected for you. So hit start? And, yep. And then you're going to end up in season five cantina. So here we go. <laughs> and I'll let you know when it's time to go outside and you'd like to find your partner. Gotcha. All right. So remember, uh, right thumb, push up to teleport wherever you'd like to go. There you go. See that full circle? Just, that's gonna, where it's going to take you. Oh, wow. This is really cool. It's so surreal. Yeah, take a look around. Get familiar with all the buttons. Have some fun with it. So middle finger to pick up. Yeah, and you can put it to your face and drink it. Flick, 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 flick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to be proper. You can check it across the room if you want. Whatever. Get out of here. This is your world. Yes. <laughs> Someone else is playing it up. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. So like if I wanted to go this way, yeah, start well, going that way. Yep. Well, I've never done anything like this before. No but I way, love it. really? So yeah, if you um, you can listen to him, or if you keep walking forward, there's a dart game you can play. So keep walking towards the stairs, or yeah, you, you can talk to him. That's fine. Oh, where's the dart game? Uh, keep walking uh, to your yep up that way. So uh, keep what? Yeah, keep, there you see the stairs. Oh yeah, see it right there. Yep. Now the thing in the middle of the room is the podium that you'll stand on to play the darts. Oh, so nice. if you want to head there, yeah, and then push push a red button like you're gonna touch it. 
like you're literally gonna reach out and press it yourself. The red button right below you. Oh. Kind of. Yep. Yeah, just press it. There you go. Oh there are your darts. God. And then just let the darts go. They are um, rockets. They're little rockets. So just let it go when you're ready. I yep. messed. You don't even have to throw it. Just just like aim and let go. Ooh, yeah. This is really fun. I like this. It's addictive. <laughs> I see Ronto wraps actually around in the bar. You can pick those up and eat them. This is Galaxy's Edge right it here. It is, yeah. And that's Spot so two. With less tourists. Yeah, a lot less tourists. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, take a look around. Um, you can find Ronto wraps, like I said. You can pick them up. And apparently, well, Ronto wrap. Yeah, go grab that. Right there. There we go. Yeah, back up right over here. There you go. And then middle finger to pick. Oh. You can throw it at him, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and then put it to your face. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Um, so if you decide now, this is your chance to leave the cantina and head out to the Bouchy Wine if you like. Where's that way? Right behind you, you'll see the door. So there you go. Okay, perfect. And then middle finger to grab, perfect. Alright. And there's your blaster and you're ready to go so if you want to head past that container up that hill you're gonna probably come across the walking and that thing so uh be ready for it this is too nice. cool <laughs> you got him from the bag that's awesome Well, that was really awesome. I've never done a VR experience like that. And it was so cool to just be walking around Batu and Galaxy's Edge and hanging out in the cantina, eating a Ronto wrap. I loved it. I kind of want to get one. Like, so on the way out, they have like a swag counter where you can sign up your email and they send you a $25 gift card and then they give you a $5 Disney gift card. But this changes every day because sometimes they give you water bottles or they give you posters and stuff like that. But this is so cool and it's free to come check it out. I mean, if it's free, it's for me. Now I think we're gonna actually start making our way back home so we can go see Gracie Girl and give her her little pup cakes. You know, she wants them, she deserves them too. But I do wanna say, if you guys do come down to Disney Springs before that Star Wars experience leaves, you should definitely check it out, it's free. And I loved it, it's definitely worth just like your time, you know what I mean? And I didn't even wait that long, like I was basically, I did the, the reservation and I showed up and walked right in. And there she is, there's my little princess. Oh yes, yes, you want a pup cake, huh? You want a little pup cake, huh? You want a pup cake? <gasps> yeah? Oh, here it is. You want it? Take it down on the carpet. Good girl. Oh, look at She destroys uh, stuffed animals or little chew toys like nothing. Do you like it? Oh, you already ate the half. Oh, yes. Much good. And with that, I think we are done here. And I switched over to a baseball cap. Like I said before, what do you guys think? Like, maybe I'd wear hats like this sometimes to the park. And fun fact, Thrifty Land, which is something cool. I have one more video from California, but I have to wait to release it. So uh, it's gonna be a little shocker when I do, but very awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.